you have any success tips for those who are seeking first job? Tips for anyone that might be looking for their first job. And do you have those? any success tips for the future generations getting their first job? Do you have any tips for people trying to find their first job? Do you have any success tips for the people who are seeking their first job? And do you have any success tips for the younger generation getting their first jobs? So if you had one tip to give to someone trying to get their first job, what would it be? If you're seeking your first job, if you're in high school, you know, you take what you can get. I think yeah. you, uh, just, just try to find something. I think anything you do, you, you will be able to draw experience from it. My advice would be to get a job, to start working as early as you want to. Your first job isn't necessarily going to be your ideal job, but you're going to start making money. You're going to start developing a job history. In relation to this first job topic, internships or experiences are invaluable. No matter what, just try it. Try it. If you think it might be a good thing to do, just do it. It can't hurt. What are you going to do? Try it for a little while if you don't like it, try something else. Because we never know. And don't be afraid. But just get experience and not worry that it's going to be the only job you'll ever have. Well, for this generation, I think at this point, it's kind of take what you can get. And, and I think the attitude has to be just grab the first thing that's offered and do your best. And if you work hard and you do your best, you're going to succeed. Definitely go out and get you know anything that you may be able to get access to because you don't know what you might learn from any of those jobs. Try it. Try just if you could get in and get a job and you try it. Try to work as hard as you can at it. If you're just trying to get your first job for the sake of just I need money, I need a job, be open-minded. Because <laughs> especially if your resume has got almost nothing on it, no education other than some high school, maybe early college, be understanding if people aren't wanting to hire you right away. That it's not because you're not a good person. It just they may be looking for certain requirements. And when you do get a job that's not what you think that is like, oh, it's not my level, like I'm better than this, you're not. Be open to new experiences. Never give up and find what your passion is. And if you don't find it initially, it's okay. You're going to find it, but you've got to keep trying. You've got to keep trying and never give up. Never give up. Even if, you, even if you don't get your job the first time, just keep trying until you find one. Anybody who's looking for a first job, I mean, it, it's tough out there right now. So you need to do something to separate yourself from the other people coming in. I, I realize when I think back that the volunteering meant a lot if they are younger and they have an opportunity to get a set of skills before they get in. You gotta go after what you want. To be constant, persistent, don't give up. Be persistent. If you could pick a job where you're gonna be working with other kids your age, that would be fantastic. I, I think the key is preparation, preparation, preparation. If you know you're going to go for your job interview on Wednesday. You need to do a practice run on Tuesday. You need yeah. to know where the job interview is, what the traffic's like, where you park, so you can be on time and you're not stressed when you get there. And then the other key thing is know your resume because yeah. your resume is basically your elevator pitch for who you are. If exactly. you know your resume and you can walk through your resume, you're going to sound organized. You're going to be able to tell that prospective employer who you are. And if you're turned down for a job, if you may ask on why. Learn about the business you're going in to apply to before you walk in so that you can carry on a conversation with the interview person and have an idea about what it is that they're asking. Be open to anything. Work with your hands. Work hard. Be very responsible. And uh, it pays off. It really does. If you work hard, people notice. Be as kind to people as you can. Be responsible to it. Try to work as hard as you can at it. It's developing a good work ethic. You have to learn to get along. Learn how to do everything from the ground up. <laughs> Giving it your 110%. Yeah. Whatever you do do, um, do it well. Always be on time. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Ask a lot of questions because the stupidest question that you don't ask is the one that you don't ask. Good social skills are pretty important today. One-on-one -one -on -one conversation, eye-to-eye uh, -eye social skills are extremely important. And Work on the communication skills. You always want to make sure that you're honest. You want to make sure that you you know, you know look people right in the eye and you, you are upfront with everything. Be honest. Be willing to listen to people who have been there and done that people who have more experience than you. Uh, don't be afraid to accept any kind of criticism or whatever qualifications that employer was looking for because you could build on that for your, for your next position you're trying to get. Take criticism constructively. Don't take it personally because whoever gives you um, tips and ideas about work 
is only trying to help you. Honesty and reliability are two um, uh, traits that will stand by you um, for your life. You're going to take things away from it that you wouldn't necessarily have predicted that you would experience. Sometimes if you do something bad, something better will come. You learn of all the bad moments you had. Kind of a trial and error for most people. You're going to have all kinds of experiences. Some of them are going to be positive and you're going to know right away you love it. And some of them are going to be not very positive at all. And you're going to be um, working in a job that you know you realize really quickly, I don't like this, I'm not good at it, and therefore, I'm probably not going to be doing a great job. But those experiences are almost as much as, as important as the positive ones, you know, because then you really understand yourself as a person and yourself as a as a working person. Learn about yourself so that you can finally arrive at a place that utilizes your strengths. It may work out fine, and it may not. But if it doesn't, it's no reflection on you, the person. I would say try to have fun, but but don't, you know, definitely try to get the experience and then sort of uh, use that going forward. Enjoy the money, put some money away, you know, yeah. spend some money, enjoy it while you can, um, but just get experience. Yeah.